Welcome Pisces, I am Tammy Toshnik and this is Messages for the Signs. And before we begin, I'm going to light a candle for you. Sending you light. And let's refresh this energy, shall we? messages do I have for Pisces today? The first thing that came to mind, Pisces, for you is simplification. Now, that's a word I've been using a lot for everybody. I think we all do need to simplify our lives from our nutrition, our exercise programs, um, our homes, everything. I think we need a clean sweep, A to Z, simplify. And this is coming up for you, Pisces, because I think you're it feels like you're making something more difficult than it needs to be, that um, you're adding extra steps into something that could actually just be a one or two step process. That's the message I'm receiving for you, Pisces. Hopefully that makes sense for some of you. What do we need to know about Pisces for their best and highest good this week? Alrighty, Pisces, you've got by the book, round and round, peace, encouragement, magic stream, and ghost lands. The first thing that comes to mind here, Pisces, is I'm wondering if some of you are spending a little too much time in the, fa in the past or worrying about the future, which is quite common these days. We have ghost lands, which comes up to remind us that we only have the now moment. There is no there, there. There is no past to go back to, only in our memories and our emotions, really, right? There's no past that we can travel to. There's no future that we can travel to. We only have now. So round and round in ghost lands, it's, it's really um, pairing well because it's making me think that something from your past has come back up. Um, and you're going around and around. It's something that... Um, your thoughts are going around and around it feels like as well that it's sort of let me off of this merry-go-round is what it feels like you're not sure which next step to do or take and again it, it's something that um, it's not really from the past it feels like it feels like it's been prevalent for the last while and again it's round and round and it's likely coming to its head um, and so this is just that reminder too, to do your best to be in the present moment. Um, and another thing, another way to, to move beyond that is to do the things you know how to do, do it by the book. So this is saying not to uh, reinvent the wheel here. You've got by the book, you can see it's following along. Uh, the elephants are following along. This may be mother energy as well as elephants do represent the mother. Um, for some of you, this may have something to do with your mother. However, um, usually when by the book comes up, it means just do what you know how to do and don't try to create something new. Um, let's see here. So inner peace or peace, we're all searching for that inner peace, aren't we? So this does tell me, Pisces, that right now it feels like you've got a lot on your mind, um, a little chaotic thinking going on and um, and it's asking you to bring peace into your heart encouragement here so this might be the words of encouragement you need to keep going 
um, that everything will work itself out. I do like the idea here, you've got elephants and giraffes. Uh, have you been to the zoo? <laughs> Are you considering going on safari? Um, it's just, this is just telling me that even though it feels challenging to you, again, it, 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 you may be making more out of it than what needs to be. And so bring it back to basic Pisces for this week. Don't try to, again, reinvent the wheel or do something out of the ordinary. Just bring it back to what you know how, what's important to you. And then you have magic stream, which is about flow and abundance being with the, the flow, the give and take, flow like water. So this tells me, again, not to resist. This is what by the book means as well, that you do have to follow along, not resist what is. Let's see if there's anything else here for you, Pisces. And so we have the egg here with the peace card and eggs usually mean rebirth, uh, creation, something brewing, etc., something coming to form. And when it's paired with peace, it just means where can you bring peace in? Where can you create peace in your life? Let's see, and I think this is it, Pisces. I'm not getting anything else. So just that, rem that reminder that you might be futurizing or living in the past. And, um, and that's causing some of your issue. That's causing you to be out of peace. Magic stream. Is there something else there for Pisces? Magic stream speaks as well about not getting too caught up in the idea of endings and beginnings. This is what this feels like. Is something ending here for you, Pisces? And, uh, you might be coming to the end of a cycle. Now that's the message I'm receiving too. You're, this cycle is ending for you and it might be causing you some uh, angst again or challenge or overthinking, etc. Because Magic Stream does have that reminder as well that there is no such thing as beginning and end really. We're just this continuous cycle. Um, so that might be for some of you Pisces that um, something is ending and it is causing um, any manner of conflict within because you're not sure which way to proceed and then this tells you then just do what you know how to do don't try to do anything um, again out of the ordinary or spectacular right now just do what you know how to do I hope that helps you Pisces now you get to choose a card for yourself So if you'd like, this would be one, two, or three. You can choose two, you can choose all three. It's up to you. All right, let's see what we have. <laughs> interesting, oh, interesting. So interesting, two of these cards uh, were for Aquarius in the last reading, so there might be some type of bleed through from uh, Aquarius to Pisces, especially if you're on that cusp. And then we also have the same card from this reading here. So if you chose one, you've got movement, which is all about removing obstacles. Obstacles have been removed and, and now you are um, clear to proceed, if you will. So that's interesting because we did have the elephants showing us that there was that forward movement, right? But it was uh, a simplified movement. Simplified is the word for you right now, Pisces. So it doesn't mean that things are coming to a standstill, even though you might feel that way. It just means they're moving in a very specific, intentional way, but moving they are. And if you chose to, you've got Magic Stream, which we had in the original uh, guidance. Just that reminder again, not to get caught up in endings and beginnings and around and around and be in that flow of everything is just a cycle. Everything just cycles around. And then three, 
If you chose three, you've got talisman, which see here, you're on the right path. There was that encouragement card as well, telling you you're on the right path. And perhaps those are the words you needed to hear today, Pisces. And But this also speaks to your own inner knowing or wisdom and trusting in yourself. And so I would say that this goes very well with the original uh, guidance in the sense that it all comes down to trusting your own self, your own higher power, uh, your own your own higher wisdom, I should say, your, the best of you, trusting in that to guide you, to lead you, uh, to show you the way. And I hope that helps you, Pisces, and I hope to see you here next week. Take care.